Good morning, and today I'm going to read Grandma and the Pirates, written by Phoebe Gilman. Grandma and Pirates. Oh, cool. It was because of her wonderful noodle pudding that Grandma met the Pirates. On a warm summer day when Melissa was over in the meadow picking buttercups and daisies, Oliver said to Grandma, Ollie wants a noodle. So Grandma cooked a noodle pudding and set it on the windowsill to cool. A delicious noodly aroma wafted out on the warm sea breezes. Yum, said Oliver. So Oliver's the parrot. Yo ho yum, said three hungry savage pirates who happened to be sailing past. None of them could cook very well. For breakfast, lunch, and supper, they ate raw fish and barnacles. At snack time, they sucked on seaweed. When that delicious noodly aroma reached their three noses, they stopped the ship, dropped the anchor, and rowed ashore. Yo ho, yum yum, we smell noodles, we want some. Yo ho, yum yum, look out noodles, here we come. They swaggered up to Grandma's house and grabbed the noodle pudding. Unhand those noodles, cried Grandma, but they swallowed them down. Gulp, gulp, gulp. Much better than seaweed, they said. What else is there to eat? They opened Grandma's cupboards and into their pirate sack they went. Strawberry shortcake, mashed potatoes too, pickled beets, pot roast, luscious meatball stew, lamb chops, lollipops, peanut butter spread, pizza pie, popcorn, pumpernickel bread, cheddar cheese, cream cheese, blueberry juice, Apricot dumplings, rich chocolate mousse, cold chicken salad, spicy apple strudel, oatmeal muffins, and every last noodle. Whoa, they're not nice pirates. Took all her food. Then, as if it wasn't savage enough, they popped Grandma and Oliver into a pirate sack too. Help, help, help! We're being kidnapped by pirates! yelled Grandma and Oliver. When Melissa heard their cries, she dropped her buttercups and daisies and ran back to the house as fast as she could. It wasn't fast enough. They were gone. Melissa looked at the ship, still anchored in the bay. She could hear the roar and clamor the pirates were making as they fought over who had the most food. They'll be eating all day, she said to herself. I'll wait until dark. It'll be safer to rescue Grandma and Oliver then. By the light of the moon, she swam out to the ship and climbed aboard. Zzz. The pirates were fast asleep. <gasps> Shh. How happy Melissa, Grandma, and Oliver were to see each other again. Lower the small boat. We'll sneak away while the pirates are sleeping, whispered Melissa. It's not going to be that easy, Grandma sighed. The boss pirate chained Oliver to the parrot preach, and he keeps the key in his boot. Melissa tiptoed over and reached into his boot. Ho, 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 the boss pirate laughed. He was very ticklish. He laughed so hard that he woke himself up. He woke up the other pirates, too. Then he stopped laughing and growled, It isn't nice to steal. Hmm, didn't they just steal all their food and grandma? You stole my grandma and Oliver. Quiet, the boss pirate roared. She's my grandma now. And you are my new cabin boy. Start swabbing the deck. The pirates pulled up the anchor and sailed away, taking grandma, Melissa, and Oliver with them. It wasn't bad life at first. At least they were together. Oliver learned to sing old pirate songs. We are rough, we are tough, we are gruff, gruff, rough. We are gruff, we are tough, we are rough, rough, rough. Grandma cut lots of noodle pudding and Melissa helped sail the ship. It might have been fun if only the pirates hadn't been so mean and nasty. But they were. They sailed their pirate ship around the world, robbing and plundering everywhere. And when they weren't robbing and plundering, they were teasing poor Oliver. He must be seasick. He looks a little green. They grabbed his noodle and said, Polly don't want a noodle. Polly wants a cracker. They're not nice pirates at all. 
The situ situation was becoming desperate. Every time they tried to escape, they were caught. Once when the pirates were busy counting their gold, Melissa lowered a boat, but the boat rattled and banged against the side of the ship. Mm -hmm. Another time, Grandma thought they could hide in a treasure chest and get carried ashore. That might have worked if only Oliver hadn't sneezed. Then one day, as they were nearing the island of Bula Bula, Melissa said something shocking. We have to stop trying to get away from them. Never, Grandma cried. You don't understand, Melissa explained. We don't have to get away from them. We know how to sail the ship, don't we? We'll trick them into getting away from us. Here's my plan. I'll draw a fake map and pretend to be whispering about lost tre treasure buried on Bula Bula. Oh, they're going to trick the pirates. They waited until they were sure the pirates were listening. Treasure. Map. Bula bula. The boss pirate grabbed the map. Oh, 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 please don't steal our treasure, Melissa cried. Ho, 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 the boss pirate left. It's my treasure now. Grandma, Melissa, and Oliver watched as they scrambled up the island's rocky coast. They're going to love it there, Melissa said, and she pulled up the anchor and sailed away. The pirate dug a lot of holes in Bola Bola before they noticed. Uh-oh, what happened? <laughs> Egads! Where's the ship? And they're stuck on the island. Super silly story. So today I want you to write about if you became a pirate, what would you do? Enjoy your day.